Since the beginning of our universe, some 14 billion years ago, it has undergone constant change and evolution, progressively becoming a better place over time. One thing, though, that may surprise you is that new discoveries made with the Webb telescope have led to an interesting discovery. Either the universe is older than we think, or our entire theory of how it started needs to be reconsidered. The Webb telescope has been shocking everyone with its contentious discoveries ever since it began its scientific mission. These discoveries, which range from far-off stars to the furthest galaxies, put our existing knowledge of the cosmos to the test. A world that emerged barely 400 million years after the Big Bang can be seen in the furthest galaxies yet observed by the Webb telescope. The Webb can only observe so far back into the early universe, though. The Webb telescope is limited in its ability to view beyond the Dark Ages because at this point in time, the universe is entirely dark, according to our current conventional cosmological model. There are no galaxies or stars that the Webb telescope can view that are emitting light. The cosmic microwave background radiation is what's left to observe. However, a startling new finding challenges this notion and suggests that our understanding of the universe's size may be entirely incorrect. Researchers have found objects older than the universe itself in a new research that was just released. The photographs were obtained with the Webb telescope. Here are some early James Webb telescope observations showing faraway galaxies. However, a significant proportion of the most distant galaxy candidates have been validated by this new observation. The fact that some of these items predate the known cosmos by a significant amount is astonishing. This finding calls into question our fundamental theories about the universe's origins and presents a significant challenge to astronomy. According to scientists, confirmation of these galaxies still needs to go through peer assessment. Nevertheless, there is a problem with what the Webb telescope data is revealing. As you can see, the far-off galaxy GNZ 11, which was found by the Hubble telescope, held the record for being the most distant galaxy prior to the Webb telescope. It existed when the universe was barely 3% of its present age, or 400 million years after the Big Bang. It is a member of the universe's first galaxy generation. But the Webb telescope's early observations have broken the record for the farthest distant galaxy. Four of the most distant galaxies, which are even older than those observed by the Hubble telescope, have recently been confirmed by scientists. Among these galaxies, GSZ-13 emerged as the most distant galaxy ever detected through observation. Galaxy Jade's GSZ-13 was observed by Webb as it was 325 million years after the Big Bang, because of the universe's expansion in the years since the light that just reached Webb left the galaxy the distance between Earth and this most distant galaxy is currently estimated to be 33 billion light years. However, scientists were taken aback when viewing the fresh observational data. Nobody anticipated witnessing something of this nature. Researchers saw that this data showed a sudden appearance of several early galaxies that were located beyond the early universe's edge. Based on our present theories, one of these galaxies has a redshift of roughly 17, which is impossible. Recent observations, however, have demonstrated that this galaxy was a fake. Spectroscopy data among these far-off galaxies showed that this particular galaxy genuinely had a redshift value of 5. Due to the dust cloud that lies between this galaxy and the Webb telescope, the galaxy appears to be incredibly far away, almost like a far-off celestial object. The Webb telescope has potentially detected galaxies much closer to the Big Bang, but these observations have not yet been verified, according to Yale University astronomer Peter Van Dome, who was not part in the most recent study. The 
verified, a few of the candidate galaxies would have existed during the universe's early stages, fewer than 200 million years ago. According to scientists, this data actually points to a serious issue with our mainstream cosmological model. We have additional questions to answer in light of this massive population of galaxies close to the Big Bang. However, this is not the end of it. We have discussed how our understanding of high redshift galaxies has been muddled thus far. However, something even more fascinating from the early universe was just discovered by the Webb Telescope. An orderly evolution of early galaxies is predicted by our conventional cosmological model, which is based solely on observations and our understanding of physics. This implies that smaller and less ordered young galaxies should be found as we probe farther into the early universe. Sadly, new Webb telescope observations reveal that some early universe galaxies are more massive and well-organized than previously thought. Furthermore, like our Milky Way, some early galaxies are incredibly vast and complicated. Our knowledge of how stars and galaxies evolved in the early universe is seriously challenged by this discovery. This latest discovery even astounded Nobel winner Dr. John C. Ma, principal project scientist for the Webb Telescope. We are ecstatic about this image and are able to look further back in time than we ever could have before. We have been working on the story of how the galaxies grew. As promised, we witnessed the growth of some of the initial ones which caught us off guard. We weren't prepared for them to be hotter, brighter, or bigger. And another remarked, well, our entire theory of the universe's expansion may be false, and I believe it is more likely our theory of the star's growth. A few million years after the Big Bang, the Webb Telescope captured this image of the galaxy known as Sears 2112. According to scientists, this galaxy's size is quite close to our own. A significant challenge to our traditional cosmological model is the existence of large G galaxies, such as our Milky Way, only a few million years after the Big Bang. The Milky Way and other B spiral galaxies were believed to have emerged only when the cosmos had aged by at least half of its present duration because it was thought that the formation of central bars by large star clusters within galaxies required many billion years of galactic history. Previously, astronomers believed that a galaxy's early years came to an end with this galactic structure. Therefore, it was anticipated that it would only be observed in older galaxies that had maybe reached adulthood, possibly those that lived in the middle of the universe's history. It is true that there were relatively few barred galaxies in the early cosmos, according to previous measurements of galaxy morphologies made by the Hubble Space Telescope. But according to recent research based on data from the James Webb Space Telescope, it's possible that B spirals did not actually have to travel the cosmos for such a long time. Discoveries like as the spiral galaxy Sears 2112 show that 11.7 billion years ago, when the universe was only 15% of its current age, galaxies similar to our own had already formed. Galaxies saw amazing changes throughout billions of years as a result of mergers, visions, and the creation of new stars. This development, seen with telescopes, demonstrates the changes in the composition, size, and form of galaxies. The fascinating thing about its development is that it's a process of constant learning rather than only being random. However, the finding of Sears 2112 indicates that this evolution may have occurred in less than a billion years. Well, our theories are seriously challenged by the discovery of these seemingly implausible eldest galaxy candidates in this Milky Way-like galaxy a few billion years after the Big Bang. Is there something that current models of galaxy evolution are missing? Or are our theories about the early universe's origins entirely incorrect?